Hey guys, so breakfast isn't the only thing that's versatile where you can take things you might have in your refrigerator or your pantry and come up with something delicious. Have you ever tried a Buddha bowl? Let's take a look. First of all, you'll start with your base. Um, for example, do you have any brown or white rice around? Maybe you like some quinoa. What about rice cauliflower for you keto-friendly folk? Those could be fantastic bases for a Buddha bowl. And then I have a lot of other toppings and ingredients, proteins, vegetables, flavors, um, that could work really well. And since I know you like it more than one way, I'm gonna prepare a Buddha bowl three ways. So let's get started. Let's say one combination, and don't get me wrong, anything could work. One combination could be to fill it with some rice. Go ahead and add some chicken. Um, this chicken I marinated with some olive oil, garlic, lime juice, uh, salt and pepper, and do you remember that taco seasoning? Yeah, that's what I used, quite nice. So maybe some chicken, do you have any beans, black beans, pinto beans, any kind of bean? Let's put some of that in. Uh, peppers or onions or other vegetables you might have. Go ahead and add them in. Okay, and then um, let's see, let's top it with a little bit of cheese, some avocado. Does anyone know where I'm going with this? Some salsa. All right. This combination could make a delicious Mexican-inspired bowl. Fantastic. Next, um, let's see. Let's put some uh, tricolored quinoa in the bowl. Any quinoa would do. I just happen to have tricolor. I like all the color. Uh, so we've got some quinoa. Um, let's see, I have some carrots. I have three different color carrots um, here that I sauteed. Oh, geez. Okay, it's a little bit much. And then um, let's try also um, some roasted vegetables. Here I have some sweet potatoes. Now, the other thing is you don't have to make everything at once. You could choose in the evening, you might have a little time to go ahead and roast some vegetables, put them away. Maybe as you're getting ready for work, you can quickly marinate some chicken to cook later. I could help save some time. Add some kale to the bowl. So we have some roasted vegetables. Um, another thing could be, oh, um, some chickpeas um, that were uh, seasoned and pan, uh, pan, I guess not really fried, but pan fried. And then I had some beets from making a beet salad the other day that were left. So some beautiful beets for this kind of harvest bowl. And then um, this is quite delicious. Um, you could put, any kind of uh, dressing you'd like on it, or olive oils or vinegars or whatnot. Um, I happen to have some tahini, maple syrup, and lime juice. And this is going to be so delicious of a topping. Look at this harvest bowl. How fun is that? Okay, and then finally, and, and you could do any combination you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and um, now use some of the uh, riced cauliflower and some shrimp. And let's see. Um, oh, uh, I have some zucchini. Add some color to this. Um, also, oh, um, some green onion that I sauteed as well. And I have, I did these with some sesame oil and some, um, whether you use to uh, soy sauce, coconut aminos, or tamari, that kind of thing, um, could be really good in here. And then, how fun, a, add, I'm gonna add some carrots to this one. So some things can be uh, cross-utilized. Some of this uh, sauteed kale can be cross-utilized in the bowl. And then, how fun, let's add, a fried egg on top, 
bimbop anyone? All right, so what you have are three different bowls. I have the Harvest, a Mexican inspired, and an Asian. Now again, you could do any combinations, any flavor profiles you want. I'm looking forward to having these ingredients and changing up, feeling like I have a brand new entree every week. Um, and so the wonderful thing about the Buddha bowl is you can uh, hold them in your hand, so it's so very convenient. Um, the other thing is they're so versatile, as I explained, with all these different combinations you can put together. I mean, for example, uh, some bowls are held for charity. Um, some bowls could be held for fancy dress. But when they're held for pleasure, they're the bowls that I like best. Making it sassy. <laughs>